This is my view this morning. Just started a fire to warm the place up. Talia has been sleeping up here as we've been housebreaking bubs so that she's the one that takes him out if he needs to go out in the middle of the night. Although he's been doing really well and sleeping mostly through the night. He's already been up this morning running around being a puppy, um, but he decided he's tired again. So he snuggled back up with her and I am just relaxing by the fire. I already finished my coffee, just having a little bit of quiet time this morning. Hey friends, I'm just gonna take you along on our day today. We have an event this afternoon um, where I am bringing a charcuterie board slash cheese and cracker tray. So we're gonna be putting that together. If you saw my Costco haul from this past week, you'll see all of the charcuterie fixings that I bought. I probably went overboard. We will probably have some leftover to eat here at home, which is not a bad thing. So we will work on that together. The kids were really excited about helping put it together. So we're gonna do that. And then I'll probably just show you the stuff going on around the farm and whatever else we end up doing today. It's just a lazy family Sunday. You can give some sunflower seeds to the chickens too. They like them. Got them for the goats, but chickens like sunflower seeds too. Oh, wow. All the chickens are coming. Oh, we got to check the nest, secret nest up in the um, the goat's hay, see if there's any eggs. Okay? Yeah, you can try to find those sunflower seeds. <laughs> They're there somewhere, chickens. Oh, there's the goaties. Hi, goaties. Oh, and there's Izzy, the sixth goat. And Bubs, the seventh goat. Look at Neville. Oh, hi, Bubs. Oh, is he up on the <laughs> on the board? Oh my! All right, let's see. Oh, this chicken looks like it's wanting to go get in the secret nest. Yeah, they they've been laying eggs in here. I said, hey, chicken. Hey, chicken. Hey, chicken. Well, it is the hay chicken. Are you trying to lay an egg in here right now? Because that's not where they go. I know. I saw that. That's so cute. A twenty foot one. So not this hole right where you're at. Uh huh. Dubul climbed up it all the oh way to right gosh. over this. Could he hurt himself falling from that height? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna see who's the king of the bridge. Get out, Renee! You're so popular. How'd you get to be so popular? Yes, I know. I spot, saw. Spot foot was right here, and uh -huh. then people start running down trying to headbutt him. Oh my goodness, they're so silly. Okay, buddy. Double day, get very many. Is these laser focused? Jeff is making a bridge for the goats, so that they can go in and out of this field. Uh, as they will during the daytime, of course. So we put them in this pen that has access to the outside there. It's all fenced. And then at night they go into their nighttime pen where they don't have access to outside. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Real quick, I wanna pop in here and let you know about the current Perfect Keto sale that's going on right now. If you're not interested in Perfect Keto products, feel free to fast forward, skip this part. Um, but for those of you that are, they are doing a site-wide sale right now, starting today, going through Friday. So it's just a, a weekday sale. Their Valentine's sale was just on some specific products. It was not site-wide, and there were some people that were bummed that it wasn't site-wide, so they decided to go ahead and do a 25% off site-wide sale. They are also gonna be launching a new product here pretty soon called Super Reds, and it's like an antioxidant formula along with some marine collagen. Looks very interesting, I'm excited to try it, but um, you can sign up to get first access when it does launch. Apparently it's gonna be like a limited, limited quantity 
launch. So if you want to get notified about that as soon as it launches, be sure to sign up for that. To get the 25% off site-wide deal, all you have to do is follow my link and then add stuff to your cart and you will automatically get the 25% off. I will have the link down in the description. Talia, yeah. Charity, did you guys want to help do the charcuterie board? Yes. Do you know where Renee is? What? Do you know where Renee is? Is she outside? Um, I think so. I think she's outside with Dad. All right, start by going down and getting all the stuff out of the fridge downstairs. There's a Mom, lot of stuff. Can I get my cheese too? The no, because I already have slices. There's no Irish cheddar though. Yeah, I don't want to slice anymore. We already have a bunch of slices, okay. so let's just do what we have. If we end up needing something, we can always add more. All right, and then there was another thing of salami. I guess there's salami in here. Let's yeah. see if we need there's it. There's two kinds of salami. Black pepper and then like... There's a lot of salami. And then there's whatever that is. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we have so far. We got regular salami and peppered salami and prosciutto and then um, uh, jalapeno garlic stuffed green olives. And then over here we have the um, dates. I don't remember what kind of meat this was. It has some fun Italian name. Some black olives. And then these are the fresh mozzarella balls and the baby bells we got some colby jack going through here some more salami and then i figure we will put the crackers on in the bowls and on the tray like there's a little bit of room to maybe put either a bowl or a pile of crackers um, but we'll do that when we get there so they don't get soggy or anything touching the meat or the cheese so we have these um seed flour crackers that are you know gluten-free and such and then of course we have these almond flour crackers that are our favorite we love these and rice these are rice crackers we grabbed so everything's going to be gluten free and then for those that don't partake in those kind of crackers i'm also going to be including some carnivore crisps i decided on the leaner ones since we're going to eat them like crackers with cheese and salami and stuff so I grabbed some eye of round and a big bag of the chicken breast so there will be something for everyone what I love the chicken breast I know that's your favorite isn't it yeah, yeah. so we're gonna pop lids on all of the bowls and then put everything else under saran wrap so that we can transport it and then once we get there we will put it all together with the last few things what do you guys think what do you guys think there was one mistake. Amazing. Now you gotta fix it. Oh my goodness! So did you guys have fun making the shikart? The <laughs> making the what? <laughs> making the charcuterie board. Everyone say charcuterie board three times fast. Charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. <laughs> okay, everybody over here and smile. <laughs> you guys are so funny. What? Oh, you're so cute. Hi. The tongs. the tongs will be for the meat and cheese. The spoons will be for the olives. And the dates. So we need three spoons, right? 
wall. That's not very sanitary. All right, I forgot we also have this um, sliced cheese tray that will go somewhere with the other trays. Here's how it all ended up. It looks so good. Did they make you a bed? We made him a bed. Are you just a baby? Just in, a baby. In, in your bed, you're just a baby? Yeah? Okay. But why? Be able to like, okay, get over there. I'm going to put it over the thing. Oh, right? Renee, go over there. Wait, wait, wait. wait get wait, into your ready yet. stance. Are you ready? ready? Get into your ready stance. I'm trying to make it nice in. Mm. Renee, are you ready? Look at this. 